Hello, in this video tutorial I will demonstrate you how you can modify a title block template for reports. We have opened an empty project because we will work in the first step only on the template. Therefore we open the menu, we select export, reports, Bill of Quantities and for example the Room Area Calculation Type 1. The properties open automatically and we select Edit Template. The editor opens and in this editor we will create now our modified title block. In the right upper area of the page where you can see the frame with the text embedded picture we want to create our letterhead. Therefore we have to create some space. We select the frame and we press the delete key. The space is now free but we also need some more space in the vertical direction. Therefore we select this field and we drag the frame a little bit downwards to make some more space. Please don't change anything else except the size of the frame in this text field. Changing the text or other parameters except the frame can have a negative impact on the room area calculation. After it we press escape to end the selection. In the next step we will add a text. Therefore we select insert Text. We define the position of the text with the help of a window. Therefore we press the left mouse button, hold the left mouse button and create a frame in the area where we want to create the text. The text properties open automatically and we select Text. We enter our text for example Mustaman GmbH. We click on Insert and confirm with OK. The text gets automatically displayed in the window. We press Escape and in the next step we will zoom a bit into the area of our letterhead. Therefore we select Start and select Area. We define the area we want to zoom in with the help of a frame. We select again the text and we adjust the upper area of the frame. As you can see both frames are displayed in blue color and are connected by a dotted line. This means that the blue line we are adjusting is on the same level as the line on the left side. The frame of our text is now correct positioned and in the next step we take care of the text properties. Here we can choose a font, Arial is in our example OK. For the font size we take for example 18pt, then we select bold and centered text. The definition of the text properties is done. Now we move the frame of our text a little bit up so that we have some space left for the other text underneath. And for your information the hatching on the edge of the page shows the non-printable page edge. Now we add the next text, therefore we select again insert, text, with the help of a frame we define again the area where we want to place the text. The text properties open, we click on text and we copy or type a text into the field. We click on insert and OK. Next we edit again the text properties for the size we select for example 14pt and centered text. Now we position the frame
and after it we press escape. Now we add one more text, we select insert text, we place the frame for the text, text properties open, we select text, we enter or paste the text, select insert and OK. For the font side we select again 14PT, we place the text centered and we adjust the frame. After it we press escape. Now we add the next text, the country, in a fast forward, we select insert text, we enter the country, insert and OK, we select PT16, bold and centered and we position the frame. That's done, now we select one more time, insert, text, we position the frame for this text under the country. We select text and now we add a two-line text. The special thing about a two-line text is that we have to use the function line feed. Therefore we press backspace and at the position where the line feed is to take place we click on line feed. After it we click on insert and OK. In the editor the text is still displayed as a single line text but when we print the text will be displayed two lined. We select the font size PT10 and after it we press escape. To get a quick overview over our page we can click on the function 100%. Now the page is displayed in its full size. In the next step we want to add our logo in this area. Therefore we select again the function select area and we zoom into the desired area with the help of a frame. Now we select Insert and Picture. We define the area of the picture with a frame. And after that we select File. We select for example this JPEG picture. The resolution of the logo is 1200 to 600 pixels. The file size is 156 KB, the resolution is good enough for printing and the file size is small enough to not interfere with further work on the project. We select the logo and we click on Open. The picture was inserted but doesn't get displayed in the editor. When we print the picture will be displayed. We adjust the frame and after it we press escape. In the next step we will work on the footer. Therefore we zoom out of the project, we select start and we click on 100%. Now we select again select area and with the help of the frame we zoom into the lower area of the page. Now we select again the variable list area with a left mouse click and we move the frame a little bit upwards to make some space for the footer. Please note again don't make any changes in this window except the frame size. After it we press escape. In the next step we will add a horizontal line as a divider between the text field and the footer. First we select the function page width to show the page in its full width and now we select insert and line. We enter the line with the help of a frame. This is the first point and that's the second point. The line stays selected and now we select the function zoom in. 
We position now the view in the area of the line. And now we make the frame of the line as small as possible. After it we press escape and we select again the function 100% and page width. In the next step we will add the text for the footer to make a not too long video and because the process is the same as before we make a fast forward on this step. For your info, for the texts in the footer we have used the following text per meters. For the text size we have used 8pt. We have used the grey color and centered text. The footer text was successfully added to the page. Now we will edit the font color of the company's name. Therefore we select the text and we select for example an orange color for it. For your information, the color of the text is not displayed in the editor, but it will be displayed on the final print. In the next step we will save the template. Therefore we open the menu and we select save as. We recommend to save the template in the Catvilla folder in the documents. We enter a name for the template and then we click on save. In the final part of this video tutorial we will print a room area calculation with our template. Therefore we switch into a project created with Catvilla. We open the menu. We select export. Reports. Bill of quantities and room area calculation type 1. Here we click on the path of the template. We select the folder My Samples. We select our template and we confirm with OK. And OK. Now we have to select the path where we want to save the room area calculation. The folder My Samples is already selected. We enter a name for the room area calculation and then we confirm with OK. Finally, we can take a look at our modified title block template. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, visit our website catvilla.com.